And the prince and princess got married and flew off on their honeymoon in a hot air balloon. The end. Yippee! <laughs> I love stories, especially when the bad guys go to prison. What's a hot air balloon? It's a large balloon with a basket underneath it. You get into it, fill the balloon with hot air and it flies away like an airplane. Wow! That must be so cool! How do you know about I it? I read about it. That's why reading is so important, because you're always learning something. Then Papa must be very clever, because he's always reading. Uh-huh. That's why he's a professor. Hello, hello, everybody. Look what I brought for you. Balloons! <laughs> cool. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> 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 she thinks it's an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that might happen. That's why I bought some extras. But this time, don't bite it. Are these hot air balloons? No, these are helium balloons. But they also float away like hot air balloons. Well, I've had a very long day, so I'm going to take a nap before dinner. <sighs> and I need to prepare for my lectures tomorrow. So, will you parents be okay? Don't worry, Papa. I'll take care of Tessa. We'll play with our balloons, won't we, Tessie? <laughs> Tessa, let me show you some tricks you can do with the balloon. I'm going to count to three and then we let go of the balloon. Ready? One, two, three! That was very good. Now, let's do something completely different. Okay, Tessa, box the balloon. <laughs> And again. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Ouch! Wow, Tessa, you can really hit hard. Russell, come and play. Russell, are you there, mate? You want to come and play? Hang on, Tessa. Let me just go see what Chuck and Lorenzo want. <laughs> Hey, Russell, we're going to go into the jungle to play hide and seek. Want to come along? I'd love to, but I'm looking after Tessa. Well, why don't you bring her along? She can be the base. Cool idea. <laughs> 98, 99, 100. Coming, ready or not. Oh, Russell, Russell and Lorenzo. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> ah, gotcha. <laughs> One, two, three, blocky Russell. Aww, well, well done. Now we have to go find Lorenzo. <laughs> oh no, the balloons are flying away. You're tall, Chuck, can you jump? They're already too high and too far away for us to jump up and catch them. Whoa, whoa, don't worry, Tessa, I'll get your balloons. Wait! Oh, thanks for catching the balloons. You 
See, helium balloons are filled with gas, and helium is lighter than air and always tries to get above the air. So when a balloon is filled with helium, it just floats higher and higher. So if it's gas, is it dangerous? Aye, you never breathe it in, it's very dangerous. So a hot air balloon's also full of helium? No, but that's a very good question, son. Hot air balloons are filled with hot air. Hot air rises, so they fill the balloons with hot air from a burner, and it just takes off. Wow, that's so cool! I can't wait to tell my friends and teachers at school tomorrow. And that's enough hot air from you, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner's ready. Bamboo stew, my favorite. Yippee! Mine too. I know what my boys like. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Mama, and we love you. We love you, Mama, and we love you. We love you, Mama, and we love you. Oh, Mama, we love you, and you and Stu, and you and Stu, and you and Stu. <laughs> <laughs> Croc, we were playing with the ball and we didn't look where we were going. And so we had an accident. Relax, boys. <laughs> you aren't in any trouble. I was just a little startled to see you lying on the ground. You should be more careful. I'll keep telling them. That's very good of you, Lorenzo. We will be in future, Granny Croc. But for now, please can we have some cool drinks? My papa's on his way. He'll pay when he gets here. All right. You play here and I'll get the cool drinks. Just remember to kick the ball away from the building. I don't want it breaking anything. <laughs> this is fun. Bet you can't stop this. Oh, yes, I can. Stop that. Oh, yeah. One, two, you aren't gonna stop this one! Ooh. Careful, don't be foolish! Ah. was an accident. I kicked the ball away. But it came back off his head. Oh, never mind. I know it was an accident and the bulb had burned out anyway. Let me see if I can find those. Here. When your papa comes, please ask him to put the new one in for me. Right. We should have listened. We did. We just got too energetic. Let's make it up to her. I can climb up and change the bulb, but I need to hold on to something to do it. I know. You climb up on my head and Lorenzo can fly up and stand on your head and hold the new bulb while you change them around. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Wow. Let me just loosen this. It's tighter than I thought. Careful! You're dealing with electricity. You did make sure it was switched off at the wall, didn't you? No, but it'll be okay. Ah! Ah! Jeepers! The electricity shocking them! Ooh! Are you kids alright? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Here you are, boys. Here are your cool drinks, and I'll bring one for Papa. Why 
why you're all lying around. They got a shock. And I could have been very serious if I hadn't arrived in time to switch the electricity off. Oh no! Did you try to change the bulb yourselves? I told you to wait until your papa got here. We thought we would do you a favour. And that is very kind and thoughtful of you. But do remember, electricity is dangerous. That's right. Never try to fix electrical things if the electricity is still on. Make sure it's switched off at the wall. And even better, unplug it if you can. And rather let an adult do it for you. That's right. Well, it's a valuable lesson to learn. Now let's all go and sit down and have our cool drinks. Yippee!